Good morning and thank you so much for joining Healthy and Whole Men's Prayer Line. I am excited to serve in prayer another week. God has blessed us and he has strengthened us even to be to this point. I am just elated for the Christmas season, especially with having children. Our children have been excited about Christmas for about two months now. So uh, I thank God for this season. Uh, I appreciate God for our children and uh, even getting the opportunity to, to let them know that Christmas is more than just getting presents, but it's also about or it's mostly about Christ. Um, I'm thankful for this time. I'm thankful for this time. I'm thankful that Jesus was born and that he died and he was resurrected for our sins. I thank you for Again, so much for, for joining and um, just want to go before the throne of grace this morning and just honest, sincere foundation this morning and just cry out to him and ask God to do what he does. So let's do it. Father God, we thank you. <clears throat> we praise and bless your name for, again, this unique opportunity to come before your presence with thanksgiving. God, we are grateful for just waking up with prayer on our hearts and mind. God, we do so much throughout our days and we set the alarm for work or to go running or to go work out, to start our diet. But God, we thank you for this time, this alarm of prayer. God, we're living in dangerous times. We're living in a time that Tornadoes are killing people and financial lack in so many lives and political frustrations between parties and rumors of wars and wars and pandemic. God, the list goes on and on. But I am thankful, oh God, for a God like you, a God like you this morning that will just supersede all of that and just God, just give us what we need. God, thank you for being the everlasting creator. Thank you for being a God that will meet our needs, even in a pandemic, even in lack. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just being who you are. And God, even as I look back over these times, and I appreciate you for just being God. Uh, we need a God like you, a God that won't grow weary and frustrated in the things that are going on in our world with the frustrations of loving uh, those that mistreat us, oh God. With the frustration of just having lack in our lives. God, we thank you for being a God that won't faint. God, we thank you for being a God that won't grow frustrated with us. But God, you just continue to be a champion in our lives and continually to show us that you care for us, oh God. And for that, I say thank you. Thank you, oh God, for just caring for us. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you, hallelujah, for just being God. Malachi 3 and 6 says, you change not, oh God. I thank you for changing not. Thank you for being God that doesn't change. God, when I look at so many people, when I look at the world around us, some people you know, where fashion is in and it's out the next season, oh God. But you are a God that's in every season. You are a God that's always there, oh God. I can always call on you and you're always there. God, I appreciate that. Because sometimes in this human fleshly being, we just become discouraged. And God, when we become discouraged, God, you're right there. You're right there to pick us up, oh God. And I, Lord, I thank you. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for just being there. Thank you for taking the time with us. Thank you for looking for us, searching us out, oh God caring for us, oh God, even when those wanted us to 
be cast away, O oh God. You were looking for your servants. God, for that, I say thank you. God, I even am reminded of the shepherd, O oh God, that has the flock, O oh God. If one sheep goes away, O oh God, if one sheep gets lost, he is looking for the lost sheep. God, thank you for being the God that will look for me, even in the midst of my unfaithfulness, even in the midst of my mess. God, you've been faithful to me, O oh God, to show that you care. God, help me to return what's due to you, O oh God, which is your praise. Help me to cry out to you, O oh God. Help me to be even more faithful in praying for others, oh God. Help me to intercede even when it doesn't seem popular, even when I don't feel like praying, God. Help me to know that it's not about feelings, oh God, but it is about you. It is about the strength of God. It is about breath in my body. It is about what you're doing for your people instead of what you're doing for me. God, help me to be about my father's business, oh God. Help me to be about your business, Lord that I won't grow weary doing the things that you've called me to do, oh God, that I won't grow weary when things don't seem to go my way, God, that I won't lose the faith to continue to keep going. God, I know as men, we are challenged with so many things that come before us. Uh, even during this time of season of Christmas, God, so many are anxious or have anxiety about Christmas and buying gifts of God. But Lord, I pray this morning that we won't stress ourselves out. Not only that you care for us, oh God, but the gifts and all of this stuff that we try to do to impress other people, oh God, that we just won't even get involved in that this year. God, I pray that our minds are settled on you, oh God, that we will forget about uh, even traditions of buying thousands of dollars worth of gifts, oh God. But Lord, we will change our focus to serve you, oh God, to change our focus to just cry out to you this Christmas, to just seek your face, oh God, to be consistent in prayer. God, help us not to lose hope this morning. God, that's what I feel in my spirit, that there are so many that are losing hope because they're trying to depend on man. They're trying to supply their own need. God, help them to know that they need you. I know as men, we have a responsibility to provide and protect, oh God. However, Lord, you are the ultimate provider and the ultimate protector. And God, we know if we look towards you, that you will supply that you will give us what to do, even in those times, hallelujah, of just not knowing, oh God. Lord, so I pray this morning that you will give us how to come before you, oh God. Not just begging you for the things that we need you to do, oh God. But that we will come into your presence, oh God, with an open heart and an open mind. And even if you tell us to go on this day, as we are before you this morning. God, I pray that my brothers will go and do what you will have them to do. God, help us to be bold in our faith, oh God. Help us to be men that will stand up for you, God. You said in your word, if we are ashamed of you, you will be ashamed of us. And God, I know, I know within my heart of hearts that men don't want you to be ashamed of us, oh God. So God, help us to do your will, oh God. Help us to perform in the way that you will have us to perform. So we will be pleasing in your sight. Lord, we know the hour is nine, oh God. You are soon to return. People are dying left and right. It doesn't even matter that COVID is going on. People are leaving here. And God, I pray that men hearts are lining up with you, oh God that they're not perishing from this life. God, but they're crying out to you saying, what must I do to be saved? God, saved today, set free and delivered for your glory, oh God. Simply that there will be testimony 
that will encourage another brother to do what is right, oh God. Those that are even faced with divorce or infidelity, God, I pray this morning that you will heal relationships, oh God. That you will make things anew and afresh, oh God. And God, that even if there's a disagreement or even if the divorce has to take place, God, we pray for amicable relationships, oh God, that we won't hate each other, oh God, that we won't be vindictive towards children, oh God, that we won't hold finances, oh God, simply because of the frustration that we have with one another, oh God. But we will consult you, that we will give you glory and we will give you praise Asking what you will have us to do, oh God. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Have your way today in our hearts. Change us in this season, oh God. That it becomes about you instead of about what we can gain. God, we give you the glory. We give you the praise today because we know that you can do anything, hallelujah, but fail us. God, we're crying out to you this, this morning. God, even in my voice, I am crying out on behalf of my brothers, those that do not know you in the intimacy of prayer, oh God, in the intimacy of just reading your word. I pray this morning that you will bless them to find a place in you, oh God. Lord, even if they just start with the first step saying, Lord, what must I do to be saved? Or Lord, I don't know how to pray. God, help there to be a starting place, a place where they can grow in you, oh God. And God, I pray that the enemy won't discourage them, oh God, simply because they don't know what to say. God, just give them to sit in your presence, oh God, to just sit with the Bible open, God. And I pray that you will supernaturally just provide some form of encouragement for my brothers today. God, we need you now than we, more than we've ever needed you before. God, we are living in time, discouraging times. And God, even though some of us have developed prayer lives, we have become weak in this hour. God, I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will provide strength this morning. Under the sound of my voice, those that will Listen, oh God, and view, oh God, that they will be encouraged to simply give you another try. God, I even pray that over others, oh God, that may not be in attendance today or may not view this, that they will say again, Lord, what can I do in order to develop a relationship with you this morning? God, I give you glory because I know you can change the heart of any man. God, I give you glory because I know that you are a God that won't become faithless within us, oh God, but that you will remain faithful, oh God, because you said your word will not change, that you have to make good on your word. So whatever the word tells us, oh God, as we begin to peruse through our Bibles, oh God, and to be a part of Bible studies, God, I pray that men will discover you in a new way simply because they're spending time in your word, spending time in prayer and praise, oh God, that they will just walk around the house or ride in the car with praise on their heart, something that is uplifting, oh God, that will encourage them, oh God, to be more like you and less like these fleshly beings. God, we give you the glory, oh God. We give you the praise today because we know that you are changing, hallelujah, lives one person at a time. God, there is a quote that I've heard and read before. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. I even have it on the plaque, oh God. Lord, help us as men be the change that we wish to see in the world. God, that we will be the light in a dark place, oh God, that there will be a, a magnification that will come upon our lives when we're doing what is right, oh God. So others will see that there is a real God, that you can be sold out, that you can be faithful to your wife, that you can live honestly, oh God, that you, you don't have to cheat the system to become wealthy, oh God. Put a spotlight on us, oh God. Those men that are doing 
what is right, O oh God, so others will be encouraged to walk the straight and narrow. God, we need you today, O oh God. When we are inundated with so many different things, we're inundated with so many different uh, frustrations, oh God. We need men to rise up. We need men of God, men of character to be magnified. So we know that there still is a savior, that we know that you are still blessing men that look just like us, oh God. That we know, oh God, yes, that we don't have to continue to live in lack. God, bless your men this morning. Those that are sold out for you, God. Those that are facing tests, oh God. Those that are looking for promotion, oh God. Those that are looking to start businesses. Open up the door today, oh God. In the name of Jesus, I pray it in faith that they will walk into prosperity on this day that they will see you anew, and that they will see you afresh today, oh God. I pray for families today. God, I know that the family is the most important part of our lives, whether it's our spouse, our children, our mom, our dad, our siblings, our cousins, whomever that is, even some friends that we will call our brothers and sisters, oh God. God, I pray this morning that we will simply embrace those individuals today. God, that even a hug that will uh, permeate the heart of those that are just hurting today, oh God. God, even a phone call or a text message that will encourage the heart of those that are feeling frustrated within our own families, oh God. Lord, we pray a fresh anointing upon your people, oh God. We pray that your spirit will reign once again through in our families again, that you will supernaturally save those that we've already cast to say, you know what, they will never be better, oh God. They will never get out of jail. God, save that one. So others will know that you are still at work. I know as we live in America, we feel as though everything is at our footsteps. We have everything that we need, oh God. But Lord, I pray that you will provide miracles just like you did in the days of old, oh God. Even in our America, that people will still be moved by the presence of you, oh God. That people will still be delivered, oh God. That you can still turn uh, for your glory something that looks negative. That you can still restore relationship. That you can still bless your people. That you can still set free and deliver from drugs. God, do it for your glory. God, show us again, oh God, as the days of old, as we would cry out on the altar, and most of us wouldn't leave the altar until we felt your spirit or we felt a change in our lives. God, help us to consecrate ourselves, to find a place where we can cry out to you, oh God. That you will give us what we need, oh God, as we begin to cry, as the tears, hallelujah, begin to flow from our face, God, even in our secret place, that those burdens will begin to be released in our lives. Those frustrations, hallelujah, will begin to be released in our lives and that we will be free, hallelujah, to serve you like never before. Do it for your glory today, God. Do it for your glory, oh God. We often think of ourselves, oh God, but if we're no good unto you, oh God, there is really no worth in us being here on earth. So God, I say do it for your glory because I want you to be praised in our lives. I want you to be praised in my life as I seek to do your will consistently, oh God. Lord, it doesn't matter how I feel. Help us as men to get away from our feelings. Because when we feel, we don't want to do certain things, oh God. Help us to know that this is not a, a feeling, oh God. But this is the mighty spirit of God that can encourage us to do things that we don't even want to do. That we can go even when we don't feel like it because you've been powered us to go, oh God, that we can encourage, oh God, to encourage one another 
even when we don't feel like it because you've given us the gift of encouragement. Even that we can bless, Lord Jesus, those that are in need, even when we don't feel like it because you have given us the abundance and overflow in our lives. Do it for your glory, Lord Jesus. God, empower families, oh God, even during this time to come together. Lord, it has been for some families that they haven't gathered in a couple years due to the pandemic. God, I pray this morning that families will come together, oh God, and we rebuke sickness. We rebuke pain. We rebuke past hurt that will come together, oh God. But God, we pray that you will be the center of the family. That as these folks come together over the next few days and in the weeks to come over the holidays and the fall breaks, oh God, and the, the college breaks, oh God, that you will perform a miracle. That you will do for your people during this time that families will be restored, hallelujah. That families will once again love on each other, do it for your glory. That families, hallelujah, will once again embrace each other, oh God, and pray for one another and encourage. God, we believe you to do. And we thank you because we know that you won't go weary with us. You won't grow frustrated. You won't faint because you are faithful, oh God. You are faithful. God, to help us to understand that you are a God that cannot change. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. Well, men, I've given you what God has given me. Um, and I felt just like praising him this morning. Simply because we serve a God that won't change. It doesn't matter how we feel about one another. It doesn't matter once we grow frustrated with one another, we serve a God that will not change. That should be encouraging to you this morning because of our faithful God. Doesn't matter what you do, what you say, we serve a God that will not change. Well, as you go this day, I pray that God will be with you and that he will bless you all this week. I plan on being here on Christmas morning simply because I just want to give God a, some praise. Uh, so at the end of the day, uh, I know I'll have my children probably running around, but I want us to, again, come together next week on Christmas uh, simply because our God, our Jesus, he was born during this time to, to give us this opportunity to pray. He died for our sins. And so I want to come together even on next week to just give them glory, even if that's for 30 seconds. But I want to make sure that men understand and recognize the reason for the season is for Christ. Well, until next time, be healthy, be whole, be blessed is my prayer for each of you. I love you, brothers. I'll see you soon.